Uh-oh, did someone make an oopsie? I, I don't know, was it me? It, could, it, could, it couldn't have been me. I, I can't make oopsies. Yeah, yeah, dog, it was you, man. You, you made a more than I should have video with distortion after the amp. What were you thinking? After the amp? Oh no, man! I I don't know. I don't know. I was just I was a I was a beginner at the time. I didn't know any better. I didn't mean no harm. Well, you know what? You did. You messed it all up. You don't know how to do anything correct. That's why the whole entire Helix community on Reddit doesn't even like you. Every time you post, you're just an annoying little freaking. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another more than I should have. Today, we're fixing my oopsie for distortion. So one of the first couple of more than I should haves, I did distortion as one of the series. And looking back, I noticed that I had made a mistake, an oopsie, if you will. That oopsie was putting the amp in the cabinet before any of the distortion pedals. That doesn't make sense in the context of connecting and plugging in your pedals. You don't do it after the amp, you do it for the amp. You plug in your guitar, plug in the pedals, all those pedals go into the amp. I was just getting things done back then, just trying to make things happen. Um, it's a different story now, I have time to fix that. So here we go, this is corrected distortion on more than I should have. So let's jump into it. So what we can see right here is I was only allowed to have so many distortions of, uh, before my amplifier here. which I'm using the Archetype, 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 I can't talk, Archetype Clean with the uh, 4x12 Cali V30 on the Line 6 Helix LT. Okay guys, so I have my setup here basically with, uh, see here, eight on top, two in the middle, and seven on the bottom for the distortions. This was as many as I can add on there. And would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the amp and the cabinet at the very end of the signal chain. Look at that. Everybody give me a round of applause for knowing my stuff and knowing how to do things properly. Yes. Thank you. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding these things one by one, but first let's listen how it sounds with just the amp. Okay, that's a beautiful sounding amp, personally something I like to use. And now let's start off with the first one. So the first one is a Kinky Boost in a distortion. Now it's not necessarily a distortion pedal. It's categorized underneath there. I've literally added as many as I can throughout here. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> That right there just gives a little bit of a kick to it as far as like still keeping it clean, but adding, it's like having a distortion on less than one basically. But it's a nice little pair when you put that with the distortion pedal in real life because it just adds that little clean boost to your distortion pedal that makes it more pronounced for your playing. On to adding the whole entire row. Screw it, let's do it. Let's jump into it. Let's just add it all in there. We're gonna start hearing some feedback, so get your ears ready. All right, here we go. Woo! Okay, so it's already sounding nice and crispy. It's good. It's good for the soul. <laughs> um, but let's move on. We have on the second row, only two of them. This shouldn't make a dramatic change, but who knows? We're all here just to experiment. So now we have a total of 10 distortion pedals. And on to the final round, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna add uh, seven more, giving a total of 17 pedals. We're gonna add 17 more, giving a total of 17 pedals. Let's hear how that sounds.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all 17 distortion pedals on one signal chain. As always, what do you guys think? Is that just way more than it should have been? Or was that something that could be a real application during a live setting or music? You tell me. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, since I did it correctly now. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day and do the things that I'm about to tell you right now. Just don't even, don't even, don't even like the video. Like it. There's a like button, you hit it, it's, it's free. Cost you no money. No money, okay. And then you're going to go ahead and subscribe because I do more things. I do skits, I do videos of more than I should have. I do other things, whatever in the future, I don't know. You just have to find out and stick around. Have a good